hi Pep. Obviously, it's a sad week for Manchester City with the passing of Franny Lee. I just wanted to get your thoughts on what sort of legacy does he leave at Manchester City? But part, part of what we are. So looks like the 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 reality, the day by day, looks like only exists uh, the people we are here. But uh, we are here for the people who are like Franny Lee, Max Summer, Colin Bell, in that three part of the degener degeneration that create a bound of this of this this organization, this club. Uh, of course, on behalf of the team. Of course, the statement for the, for the club, for the team, on behalf of all of them, to her wife and, and all the family. Uh, yeah, a huge hug. Andy? Hello, Pat. Um, I'd just like to ask you about the disruption to your plans, but what time do you now expect to, to arrive in Leipzig and how much of a problem is this, has this been to you? Later. There's no problem. The problem is... It's flight safe and land safe, and this is the important thing. You have to, apparently at seven, you have to do it at nine, it's not, not a problem. So the authorities said it was so risky to, to fly before, so that's why uh, we made the training session longer and, and, and the dinner, the lunch longer. We have time to rest, and now we are going to fly to, to, to Germany. OK, and you're playing a side that uh, last time you met, you beat them 7-0. Do you think that's going to have any bearing on what will occur tomorrow? And we draw 1-1 one, one there. It's another game, another competition. It was a, a really good game for our side. And we had an incredible run at home last season. We had in our bounds that uh, we want to do it, we want to do it, we want to try to, to reach the final again. and. And since the first minute, we, we, we felt it. But now it's Rupert stage, is completely different. And I have fresh that game, but I have fresh that game we play in Leipzig too. Uh, how intense they are, how typical Red Bull uh, team, Leipzig with Marco Rose, always the same manager doing really, really good things. And how attack the space and a lot of people in, in the middle. So, yeah, we try to go there because it's a a huge step for us. If we are able to t get good result, we make a step forward to qualify for the next round. Mike. Hi, Pat. Hope oh, you can hear me okay. Um, Bernardo and John Stones train today. How are they looking? Any chance they could play tomorrow or is it maybe one more for the weekend? No, they feel, they feel better. Bernardo better than John. Uh, both travel. We're going to decide tomorrow, but... Uh, yeah, really happy that they are back. So John could not play one one minute this season, and Bernardo had a pre-season like that, the birth of her beautiful daughter, and also was injured a little bit. So this disruption so made uh, a little bit, uh, you know, longer he'll come, they'll come back, but they are back. So that is a good news for us. Um, um, is it? Is it going to be more difficult, do you think, for Erling Haaland this season? I'm just thinking back to the Forest and Wolves games where they put two men on him to keep him quiet. Is it more down to him to try and find a solution or, or the team to be perhaps a little bit more creative this time around? He had a lot, a lot of chances to score goals. Those two games more difficult when they play the way the opponents play with three or five defenders with a lot of players there, defending 18-yard box, 10 players, always not easy. But not just for him, for any player around the world. But if you see the chances he had, the goals he scored, with the same level last season. Rob, please. Um, hi, Pat. You're in the middle of a, a run of six out of seven games away from home. Um, how tough is that little run, especially with some of the, the quality of opponents you're going to play like RB Leipzig as well? Well, it's what it is. So now it's a lot away, and after we have many at home. So it's what it is. So the schedule calendar dictate uh, the draw at the beginning of the season, and we adapt. So it's what it is. Sam Stone. Hi, Pep. Um, the last few days, there's been a lot of talk about VAR. We spoke to you about referees after the game on. On Saturday, 
does VAR change your job and do you trust it? And they change the job of the referees. Because they are, now they don't take the decisions. The decisions are being made for the VAR, the important ones. But if you make a mistake and then VAR, after we have a problem. So I understand completely how upset must be Liverpool in that case. It could be another, another club, but uh, the bosses on the referees will decide what we have to do and we follow them. So, so yeah, that's all. Do, do you have any, any ideas how, how you would make the system better? No, I'm not a professional of that. I rely on the people and they have to play as best as possible. I would say I'm not a professional of that and I'm not involved and I don't care. So I have to rely on the people there, but uh, so everyone knows they did a mistake and, and Liverpool suffer big consequences of that because in this type of games this is so important. And, uh, but no worry, the consequences will dictate the players and the managers. No worry. Jack, please. Thank you. How frustrating is it, though, the, the VAR? If something, something goes against you, are you more frustrated if it goes against you and it's a clear error now than you ever were before? Because there is a technology for them to look at. They, they will have to find the, the system like the, the main roles are to be the players in the football, in the game itself. In all the countries, not just here, in all the countries now, the referees in VAR are the leading roles. And the Oscar goes too. So, and they have to make a step back. So it's the players. And they have to, sometimes there are games like just being more humble and do it what they have to do, they will do it better. They will do it better. Michael? Can I just, can I, can I just, sorry, can I just ask you about the run of away games that Rob was asking about before? How, um, how confident are you in the, in the squad now that you can go, you can go and really attack these, these away games, either side of the international break, listen, given so, you've got players coming back? Listen, Jack, I, I don't know what's going to happen this season. So it's too early to know exactly, but uh, I have more than admiration or more than Wow, what about these players, what we have done in the past, we have done so far. So, it's unbelievable. So, we concede one, two shoots on target, and we concede one goal, and after that, we were there most of the times. We have 23 shoots, not all red on target, when a 10 players in the box, never is easy. And we lost the game, it's part of football. Of course, we had to improve, yeah. So, last game, last game against Bulls, uh, the basis of the... The fundamental players last, last we had last season, the last two months, three months of the last season, when we played the defining season, it was Rodri, John Stones, Kevin De Bruyne, Ilka Gundogan, uh, Jack Grealish, Bernardo Silva was not there. So six players that the world, everybody knew it because they played really, really good was important. That. And that you need some, sometimes you have to adjust something. It's, it's, it's normal. But I would say Mateus, for example, Mateo, uh, Juliana was involved, have been amazing. I, I could not expect Mateus and Mateo that so quick. Jeremy, the moments they play, the minutes they play, it's, it's stopped. But there are moments, there are games, and there are things that, uh, yeah, there are players that know exactly, exactly know exactly what we have to do, but for one simple reason. We are seven years together, eight years together, and they know it. When I breathe, they know what they have to do, and the other ones know. And they apply really well, but they don't know it. And sometimes we need that, but they have to be involved. They have to play games, you know. They have to be is in in that in that position, and 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 it's completely completely normal. It's just still we are in the process to get him better, to make our team better, and play a little bit better, and uh, of course getting results. It was a pity, yeah. Uh, uh, Newcastle game we lost. It hurts, yeah, a little bit. Against the Wolves, it hurts, yeah, it hurts. The Premier League is so tough, and we know how important it was, but now we have to, you know, move forward, prepare the game like Leipzig for the chance we have, and after go again away in, in London against Arsenal, and yeah, so we are not going to win the Premier League against Wolves, we are not going to lose the Premier League against Wolves. We have been in the position to be behind the leader these years many, many times, so maybe the first year were 100 points, we lead from the beginning until the end, in other leagues, but the other ones always were behind, and behind points, huh? six, seven, eight points behind. In not now in October, 1st October, 2nd October, 3rd October, 
it was in February maybe, March. So, so just question, come back the players, come back our principals to try to do better and learn from the game and learn again from the game and learn, help to the new to play. Like we are, I'm more than pleased, honestly, more than pleased at what they have done so far. But uh, yeah, we, you have to, yeah, you have to move on. Guys, I'm going to take one each from Michael and James, and then we'll see if there's anything in German, please. Michael. Hi, Pep. Um, got Rod really back for this match, but um, I heard him in August talking about the amount of games, and you've just mentioned that all the games you've got, so many in a season, and him having a proper rest. I know, of course, you wouldn't want him sent off against Nottingham Forest, but maybe the positive, he has had one or two weeks off, and we, you get Rodri yeah. back, how much of a big bonus, yeah. Yeah, of course. So always there are negative things. Always have to take the positive. And tomorrow, Rodri is going to play the game. And after I give him take a rest, go to Maldives for five days before the national team international break. So yeah, he has to do it. He has to do it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. James, please. <clears throat> Hi, Pep. Um, this will be the last season for the Champions League group stage in this current format, you know, six games, three at home, three away. Next season, there's going to be eight group stage matches in this new league um, stage, and finalists could end up playing as many as 17 games, depending on how they how they reach the last 16. There's then the prospect of a 32-team club World Cup following that summer, and obviously they'll go into the 24-25 season on the back of the Euros. You've spoken a lot about the demands and the problems of an ever-growing schedule in the past. Do you, do you think the sort of changes that you could be facing next season will present the the sort of the biggest threat to players that we've actually ever seen? Apparently, yeah. So you said uh, the, the format, the Champions League, I, I know they're going to change, but if you reach the final semi-final, I don't know the disadvantage of comparing the, this format is more games or less games. I don't know. You, you said to me, James, that maybe it's a few more, but that's true when you finish... The, Sorry, it's, it's 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 you've got two extra group games in this league structure for definite. If you don't qualify automatically, no, I, I don't know. With, I don't know, James. I don't know, James. How many games? I know there is more teams in a group stage, but at the end, yeah. I don't know the amount of games is the same or much more. This is what it's, 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 it's it, if you if you reach the final, depending on how you've got to the last sixteen, it will be fifteen or seventeen matches. 50, 70 matches. At least two more. Two more, three more. Yeah, two more is, is three more is like one month. So it's so always we said instead to be with the quality is the quantity. You say the World Cup, you know, you finish the season, are exhausted. Now go to states to play. I don't know, 32 games, 32 teams to play. I don't know the World Cup there. That means if you reach the final, you finish the season. What? Two weeks later, three weeks later after that. And after maybe we'll put in something for the national team because national teams always have to do it. It happens every season. After yeah, the same. It's the same arguments we have done. I think not just me. I think all the managers in the in the teams that play in European competitions. Every 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 imagine they say that. But this is what I'm saying, James. So they do this. They they made the competitions. They spoke with the players, the captains of the big teams or the managers of the big teams. So I read the newspapers and I said, oh. Next season will be more games and mixed competitions. So that's why it's. Yeah, you ask me, I answer. But I, my intention to answer or my. is going to change something? No, absolutely not. Take two but, questions. But the complaints is so not here. You go to Spain, Carlo Ancelotti say the same. You go to Italy, Mauricio Zarri now said the same, and everyone. Yeah. So. Even for us, we don't have time to analyze. We don't have time to, to refresh ourselves, oh, we are doing well or bad or whatever. So it's not that. So it's more difficult. Now, now honestly, James, I, I, I'm not a manager. I'm a manager, but I'm not a, a trainer, I would say. I don't have trainings in the pitch with all the team to improve. That's why I'm surprised. Mateo, Mateus or Jeremy, you know, do you think we give them time to understand what we want to do? We give them, you know, process. You want the results immediately, but the results. So a good food need time to be cooked. You know, need time, time there, half an hour, one hour. You put in microwave, it's not the same. So now everything is so quick. We want the results immediately when we don't have time to the players to settle good to understand the things immediately. So it's always is more difficult because the demanding are higher. So it's not because they are these players and now 
uh, okay, we can, no, no, the, the mandate for the, our chairmen, our bosses, our sport directors, the media, the fans, well, more and more and higher, how to do better and win more and more. So the day, the day, like we were out because Newcastle deserved completely, that's a question to me if we were disappointed to not win the quadruple. Are you serious? <laughs> so, so everything is, is too much and we don't have time, but the same, so. We can the here, we continue. They put more competitions. I'm here, we will play those competitions. That's for sure. All the man is going to do it. What I said last day, only the players can stop it. Only the players. Anyone else? Take two from German press, please. One from Tom and one from Antje. Tom, please. Yeah. Hi from Leipzig. Um, first of all, I hope you have a safe flight later on. Thank you so um, much, Tom. Thank you. Yeah, um, I have a question about the Leipzig team. They 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 lost quite a few key players in the summer, like in Kunku, Soboslai, you got Guardiol. Um, and even though they are very successful this season, again, um, what do you think about the new Leipzig team? And are there, is there any like player you are most impressed with, like from the new guys already? No. no, no normally when that happens, that is because there are two or three reasons. First of all, the board, they have incredible strategy, the way they want to play. Second, take the manager to the way they want to play and bring the players specific for this type of play. And when these three happen, always you do it well. The problem is the club want to do some expectations and they want to play in that way. And after three defeats, I want to play in a different way. And after three games, I want to feel in a different way. And Leipzig, like was it Salzburg and on many, many teams of the Red Bull you know, organization. Uh, so they know for many, many years, it doesn't matter Ragnik and after Ralf Hussenheit and after, you know, all the money they had, they played the same style. And they bought the young players to develop and after Selva to became one of the richest clubs in the world. So that's why Red Bull in Formula One is right now is top. Uh, hopefully Mercedes can help, it, can, you know, be there because I'm, I'm a big fan for Toto Wolf and and, and Mercedes, uh, but uh, yeah, so that is the reason why the success, because they know the clear, clear strategy and all three departments go in the same direction. When that happens, you are a stable club, you know, sometimes you win the Pokal, sometimes you, in the, you are always there for the Champions, you know, for the Champions League next season, of course, battle to buy Munich is always difficult, but always they are there. And this is our success. And I have a lot of admiration of that. That is what we're trying to do here in Manchester City. That's why I believe we have a success for the last years, or last decade, I would say, you know? Because win what we won in the Premier League these many years, many, many times, and uh, reach final, semi-final, final, final winning Champions League many, many years, last years. So it's because they are the same idea, like Red Bull, you know, have, we had the, the, the philosophy to bring just young players to double off and have to sell it, sell it. You know, maybe we have the reality players because in Leipzig, they don't demand to win the Bundesliga, they don't demand to win the Champions League, and Manchester City, yeah. So that's why we're not a little bit strategy, but the idea to say, okay, we want to play in that way, we're going to contact with the manager to play in that way, you're going to try to buy the players to play in that way. And when that's happened, always you had success. Finish your answer, please, guys. Um, hello. Uh, Hi. Could you say um, uh, something about Jasko Guardiola? How is the impact on uh, your game? It's the same as I said before, so they didn't have time to training much with us to do it, but we are really impressed with his professionalism and especially a quality human being can play central defender, a left back, that's why he's 21 years old. Hopefully he can be many, many years. The impact with us is, is massive. We are very pleased for his behaviour on the pitch. He's already settled perfectly and uh, I'm very pleased that Man City did what they have done with him. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.